but I think uh, I don't think that uh, any of the leaders, except possibly John uh, Lewis on the SNCC people, really feel that way at all. I think one of the things is they're hard to handle. I mean, we've been having them all over the country. Yeah, I know, but what are all these ministers coming in all over the country for if they don't feel like they've been mistreated here? Well, this minister's going to die, isn't he? Yes. Is he already dead? No, sir. Well, that's about a unit. He is so intent and perfect. I think we can try to keep him alive, but you know, they have to away as long as they can, at least so that he dies. And die in a time when, you know, clear things up. I think I expect it. What time do you think he'll die? They tell me that he could stay alive uh, for another uh, 24 or 36 hours under these mechanical things. But uh, I think he'll probably die early in the morning. Uh, do you think you'll have your court order in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do, uh, I think we'll get it worked out tomorrow sometime. Uh, I judge it's going to be pretty good. He's not going to embarrass the king on this. He's not going to find the king was in violation of any law. Uh, and then uh, we're working out the terms of that march, and I think be pretty satisfactory terms. Then, as I told Bill Moyer, is the uh, uh, king has accepted the idea that if uh, this minister dies, that the the Montgomery, the Selma Montgomery march, or what they're going to call a march. Uh, it's going to be in his honor. Now, that'll do a lot to relieve the uh, other demonstrations people would feel they have to make about this. And in addition, we'll give a, a funereal quality to it. You know, be like going to church, and that'll keep the rowdies uh, uh, down. I think that's a good idea. All right, now, uh, uh, I think it with the ministers to, uh, uh, I think Bill ought to talk to some of them tonight and get the feel, and then maybe uh, uh, you and Bill, uh, or you and Lee White and Bill, ought to invite some of them in in the morning to take uh, to uh, take this heat off and to explain to them what's behind our reasoning and our thinking, and I think particularly uh, yours and. Uh, and the vice presidents and bells any way that you can to get me out of the line of fire as much as we can. Uh, he has, the vice president uh, has a memorandum. He doesn't have any recommendations. But uh, he's just transmitting. That's about all he's done. And uh, we need to have somebody say to him, now, federal marshals were not dispatched to the area uh, to arrest persons attacking federal officials. Uh, uh, because uh, there weren't any federal officials being attacked, were they? No, we have one FBI fellow. Something. Now, uh, the second thing they say is leaders of white segregationist forces, uh, including Al Lingo, be arrested for encouraging their officers and troops to violate the civil rights of others. We may have a case against Lingo. We may arrest him. Uh, I've been, uh, and that may be possible be, to do. It's a, it's a delicate decision. Sheriff Clark. That's Sheriff Clark. Well, we got three cases against Sheriff Clark now. I don't mind arresting him. Has it, have they already been brought? Yes, sir. But these are, I mean, these are cases over the past eight months against Clark, and we're waiting a decision, which you ought to get momentarily from the Court of Appeals in one of those. Uh, I don't really mind. Uh, uh, I'm a little more reluctant with Lingo because such is the governor. Uh, but uh, I've got, I just sent seven more lawyers down there to go over all this evidence and pictures and whatnot and see what we could do on this. Well, I think you ought to say in response to this now, we've got uh, three cases against Clark already in the courts. I don't suppose you all know that. But I've got seven lawyers going over this evidence, and it's not something that the president does. He doesn't uh, uh, go after white segregationists or white integrationists. It's a matter that uh, we follow law and order here. 